Oh boy, man, it is crunch time today. I'm a nervous wreck. Seven and six Bengals going against seven and six Denver in Denver. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, the The Bengals are kind of built to. The Bengals basically designed themselves to be an AFC North team, and that means stop the run and be able to run the ball. Which Denver isn't that great at throwing. Teddy Bridgewater is very conservative. He'll dink and dunk you to death. But the main the main issue is there are there two backs, and they're just gonna pound it. They're gonna pound it, and it's gonna be are the Bengals gonna make stupid horrible mistakes? It's all they got to do, because these games they're losing. They're not just like jarring hit turnovers. These are just Bengal mistakes all on their own. Three interceptions in a row against Chicago. The pick six against Cleveland. Uh, Jamar's bumble interception against the Chargers. Joe Mixon's fumble against the Chargers. Two muff punts against the 49ers. Dumb penalties. I can go through the whole laundry list, but there's no point. we got to move forward. <clears throat> so, historically, we've only I've only seen the Bengals win one time in mile high in 40 years. Luckily, that was a couple years ago. So, the most recent time they played there, they've won. So that's encouraging. So it's going to be a rock 'em, sock 'em, hold your seat kind of game. But after watching Tom Brady march down the field in overtime, after watching Mahomes throw it down the field in overtime with a walk off touchdown, hopefully now Zach Taylor's a young coach, has learned the valuable lesson last week. Like, hey, if we're in that same position, let's not play for the field goal. So God only can hope. Uh, hopefully the Packers, our boys, Green Bay, help us out today. Go Pack Go. And then uh, the NFL did something a little bit shady there. Cleveland was decimated with COVID, and they moved the game for them. Hmm, a little shaky there, you know, really. I think they were supposed to forfeit or just play, but it looks like they're going to cut the Brownies a break. So we'll see what happens on that game. That's going to be Tuesday or Monday night. I think Tuesday night. So... We control our own fate. These are becoming must wins. We can squeak in at three and one with the right three wins. But let's just win out and then put no doubt. Four wins in a row, we are in the playoffs. Guarantee it. It's a mathematical certainty. Four games in a row does the trick. So let's take out Denver and then move on to next week. One week at a time. We take out one burrow at a time. Burrow. Joe Burrow. If you know that reference, hit me up in the comments. Me and you in simpatico. Uh, all right. I'm going to go bite my nails for a little while. I'm a nervous wreck. So I'm going to go take my daughter to some Christmas shopping and count down till 4 o'clock. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Oh, new feature coming up when we win this game today. I am stealing it from Mr. Beast. If the Bengals win, I'm going to give money to the people in need. In honor to bring them on the Bengal bandwagon. I'm stealing it, man. It works for this guy. So, woohoo, exciting times. Be sure to subscribe. Protect Joe. Oh, that's the other thing, too. Fred Johnson starting at right tackle because, of course, we cannot add veteran depth. That would be a Bengal sin for the front office. So he isn't much of a guard, but he has shown flashes at tackle. It's on him, man. He's got to step up today. It's going to be a tough fight game today. Ah! All right, let's go. Let's do this. Who day?